everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. And no, I'm not leaving this game. No ifs, no buts. I'm not leaving anytime soon. So please make sure that you stay tuned for more Figure Fantasy content as we resume with Yolanda in this update after Tia. So this update is all dedicated to Yolanda. So the limited rate up even okay so do not consider this the personal designer brand do not pull for that there is also a new skin for yolanda so this is going to be lim limited time in stock if you've seen my thumbnail then that is the skin that we are talking about we have a couple of events related to yolanda here all the events are going to be december 2 until 22 some of them are only up to 16 so there are a lot of events for this girl an event uh, limited challenge dungeon as well coming soon so tomorrow definitely i'll be creating lots of videos especially for the usual guides that i do event limited idol drop fortune puzzle fairy tale magic limited event again new packs combining magic and science card packs and a lot of packs here then solo dungeon event brave the mill fort is coming back and that is it so other updates figure in covenant there they have added yolanda chow chow sakura Crossell, and izumi then yolanda adornment also added exclusive special edition zhao yun vow of pure white version also added in permanent in stock so um just gonna give you guys a reminder before we go to the review of yolanda's kit um the update might be delayed in north america and eu so please be sure to check the time the time deployment in your areas so that you won't ask again if there's no update for today or tomorrow so anyway that is it we all have a lot of things to do tomorrow for the event for yolanda's event um uh i will be pulling for her tomorrow with what i have currently and let's move on to yolanda's kit let's do a small review whether she is worth pulling for or not so yolanda is going to be she's inclined with with uh with fire so let us check out her kit so she's rated an 8.8 .8 out of 10 so let's see if that is correct okay so attack skill is range 6 so she is a militarist guys her attack speed is fast prioritizing attacking the front most enemy in the same horizontal row as herself deals damage uh, additional when the target is set on fire or ignited so she's going to work well with your Ignite teams. Um, you just have to make sure that she has, you know, space there. But I think you have. I'll feature a new Ignite team once uh, she is going to be out. Increases normal attack damage by 25%. For her ultimate, initial energy 70, which makes her... Um, you know uh, put out her energy uh, energy or ultimate as early as possible so damages the front enemies in front sets them on fire for five seconds then buffs herself for a reagent for five seconds increase attack speed by 80 percent when buffed so sets them on fire then buffs herself and increases attack speed so while she already has a, uh, a fast attack this makes her even faster during the enhancement damage is increased by 30 when hp is 70 or more and hp absorption is increased by 50 when hp is less than 7 so take note of that as well enemy burn time and buff duration is extended to seven seconds so that's five plus seven with a total of 12. passive skill rolanda performs a flask attack after a friendly figurine uh, friendly figures ultimate is activated so every ultimate that your team does her passive triggers and damage uh, the deals damage to the currently attacking enemy so more or less the one that she's attacking and right in front of her flash damage is increased for level up and damage is increased by an additional 40 percent when the target is on fire that's a big damage 
the, she's going to be good for bosses. I, I have a feeling this is this is the this is the the figure that we're waiting for for bosses because this is it enhances her damage, enhances her attack, and takes advantage of ignite. Okay, so let's go back to level up effect plus damage increases and damage increased by forty. When targets on fire, increases flash damage and ignites all immobilized effects. Flash, at, flash attacks and restores 30 energy when immobilized. Mm, this is nice. Um, specialized skills. So increase damage dealt by 15% when there are no enemies around. This, this is the usual for your militarist. Basically, for your passive skill. Increases flash damage and negates all immobilization effects. Mm. Mobilization, so uh, freeze. What else? Immobilization effects. So other all effects she negates that that can immobilize her, but she also increases flash damage. Flash flash that attacks and restores thirty energy when immobilized. That's nice. This is nice. This is going to hasten her ultimate eventually. So. What do I think of her? Um, I don't think she's going to be S tier at this point. Um, she can be, depending on how you're going to build her. I still don't have to more or less see how we're going to build her. Probably have, because right now she's ranked at S tier. She's ranked at S tier, but I think she drops one notch below it really is a toss-up depending on how you build her i'll have to test her out uh first but for now she's with s tier might be different after a few trials so strongest rank is s as you can see there um also if you can see here going through her skins this is a skin that i am actually looking for the witch skin so magic recipe, magic medicine recipe version. So this is one that I'm waiting for. The mar the margarita version is this one. Okay. So this is the skin that is available now on limited uh, time only. But this is the one that I'm waiting for. The witch skin that I'm interested in. So she's actually, I'm actually um, curious to use her. Uh, looking forward to using her. Um, she gives ignite uh, pretty much pretty much a good damage dealer, you know, and more or less she's going to work with a team with ignite. So Zhao Yu, Mitsuhide, Zuki Liang, Sanada, and Ri. They're going to be crucial in making her better. So. Again, I will leave my, um, what they call this, my final review and the build guide that I'm going to be putting out probably tomorrow or the day after. So for now, I think she's a good um, investment to pull unless if you don't want to add to your militarist for uh, Let's Red. She's a good one if you're building a fire team. She's a she's definitely one of your core contributors for your fight fire team now. Um, aside from having a couple of DPS there already, you will definitely need her um, as she what they call this as she is uh, incorporated in your fire team. So increase on attack speed by setting enemies on fire, absorption and damage increase according to remaining HP. Follow up attacks occur when allies activate secret techniques. Additional damage to burning enemies. So, um, when they're burned, they definitely take more. You know, she, she's she's technically suited for boss uh, boss stages and boss content. So, if you want to invest on a specialist like her to take down bosses and to deal more damage, definitely you'll have to summon for her. But again, I'm sh at this point it. I would say that it really depends on what you have for that red and if you're building a fire team. But f for free to play, I don't think she's a must summon. 
if you're not free to play, then she's a must summon. So at this point, it's really up to you guys if you're going to be summoning for her. So that is it. So hopefully this will end uh, my short review if she's worth it or not. A more in-depth review is coming soon. So take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.